Hi everybody, Ernie here with Smooth On with another installment of our Molds of Nature series where we take elements of the outdoor and nature and create molds and cast them in GFRC, concrete, or gypsum. Here at Smooth On we get a lot of emails and a lot of calls from potential and current customers asking us how we did this or how they can do something. Do we sell the molds? Well first of all, no we don't sell the molds. We sell you the rubber so you can make a mold of just about anything. Recently, I received an email, and I'm going to go ahead and read the email now. It says, Dear Smooth On, I'm new to your product line, but I'm very interested in learning more about mold making. My casting medium is typically concrete and GFRC, and I was hoping for some assistance. I was recently looking online to purchase a mold of a leaf and cast it in GFRC for a bird feeder in my backyard. I was surprised and shocked to see how much some companies are charging for these molds. Some range in the thousands of dollars. I'd like to make one of my own leaf molds. Please help. Signed, Jenny. Well, Jenny, I'm here to help you today and show you how I made a mold of a rhubarb leaf and cast it in GFRC. So what I did was I started off with a model, a leaf, and I talked to my good friend Sandy, who makes delicious strawberry rhubarb pie, and asked her to bring in a rhubarb leaf for me. So I tried to pick as large a leaf as possible. And it was pretty easy set up. What I did was just took a box lid, uh, put some sand in the, in the box lid, pinned it down with a little bit of clay, and now I'm ready to start the mold making process. For this particular project, I chose Rebound 25. It's a one-to-one -one platinum silicone mixed very easily by volume and applied. And for the first layer, what you want to do is you want to use a stipple effect. So what you're going to do is take a standard chip brush, and you can actually cut it off so you get a little bit more of a, a sharper edge. And what you're going to do is you're going to stipple the first layer on. And this is similar in GFRC to a, applying a face coat or a beauty coat. Then you're going to allow it to tack up a little bit, usually around 20-25 minutes. For this particular project, I've chosen an absolutely beautiful day to work outside. So this is something to think about is the temperature of either your shop or if you're working outside. It was a little warm that day, so it, um, it did tack up a little sooner than, than later. So I came back with my second layer. And typically what you want to do when you're doing brush on molds is you want to add pigment to every other layer of, of rubber so you can differentiate the different layers. So I went ahead and added some pigment and then I brushed on. So again, you know, the idea is brushing on the material all over the, uh, all over the model. Again, we're going to wait a little bit for that to set up and then you come back with your third and fourth uh, layers. So really from there, I had, a, you know, I had my leaf inside of um, encased in rubber. From here, I do want to put the disclosure, don't use your all-time favorite leaf. Because for this particular project, I was not able to retain my model. But the good news is I have a great mold that I can go ahead and cast uh, as, many, you know, as many, model, uh, many castings as I can get out of this mold. So then from there, I have my silicone mold. Now it's time to cast this baby in GFRC. For this particular uh, project, I used some leftover material from a larger project we were working on. Check out that on our YouTube channel and the um, Smooth On website for a much larger project that we were using this GFRC mix with. Um, I used a standard Forton mix design. Uh, I applied the Aquacon release agent. And what I wanted to do was get a little bit of body for this uh, casting. So what I did was I simply propped the flexible mold up onto a box. And you know you can get as much depth as you want or as little depth as you want. And then I came in with my hopper gun. So again, uh, standard GFRC uh, technique. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the hopper gun and get that beauty or face coat. Allow that to tack up for a little bit. Uh, I came back a little bit later with some additional mix, and this is when I included the AR fibers. And this is going to give it you know some strength. And this is the uh, the um, addition of the GFRC, if you will, the glass fiber reinforced concrete. So then I went ahead and got and packed it in and allowed that to cure. Next day I came in and what I did was I actually demolded it from my casting and I have my mold and now I have a casting. And this is where the fun part gets into, um, you know, finishing it, making it look a little different. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I want to do was either, you know, do I want to give it a crunchy look? Do I want to give it a green tropical look? And this is really where you can do whatever you'd like to do. Um, for this particular one, what we did was we just used some, some shoe polish and some isopropyl alcohol. I wet the shoe polish down and I used another chip brush. 
And I used some black to get some of the veins of the leaf, and then I used some brown shoe polish, and then that gave me sort of the brown crunchy look. So again, more of definitely a, a, a end of fall crunchy look for this leaf. Um, I also wanted to try to get some different colors. Like I said, you can go with green or you can go with the red and orange. In the Northeast, we have some beautiful fall foliage. So what I wanted to do is sort of get like a golden red look. And for this particular one, I went ahead and chose the Buddy Rhodes Glaze products. Um, wide variety of different colors. So again, you can get a lot of different outcomes with this one. What's nice about these is again, you can use these for bird feeders, bird baths, or simply just a yard decoration. Um, you could use it for a candy dish. You could use it, you know, for just really just a decoration on your desk or in your office. So really what started off as a, a large rhubarb leaf, leaf went into a mold, a silicone mold, and then cast in GFRC. And, you know, obviously you can do gypsum or standard concrete. So Jenny, I hope this really helped you out step-by-step uh, step showing you how to make this mold. Uh, I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, check out our other videos in, on the Smooth On YouTube channel and the Smooth On website. And this is Ernie for the Molds of Nature series saying thank you very much. <laughs>